Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Bull Mastiff. An intelligent, alert, and confident breed is an exceptional protector and family companion. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed's History In 1860, a group of English gamekeepers developed the Bull Mastiff. It's a relatively modern breed created in the middle of the 19th century to hunt down poachers. They required a big, silent, brave dog with quickness and power. They tried a variety of breeds to find the ideal mix for their requirements. Still, the Mastiff-Bulldog combination proved successful. Due to the Mastiff's influence, the fawn coat with a black mask also gained popularity. Over time, poaching decreased and the Bull Mastiff transitioned to a new position as a guard dog. The Bull Mastiff wasn't produced as a unique type but as a crossbreed until the early 20th century, dubbed Gamekeeper's Night Dog due to his courageous and tenacious temperament. The breed was approved by the Kennel Club of England in 1924 and by the American Kennel Club in 1933. A testimony to its virtues as a companion, the Bull Mastiff now holds the 41st place among the 157 breeds and variations recognized by the AKC. In 1934, Fascination of Felon's Fear became the first Bull Mastiff registered with the AKC. Appearance the Bull Mastiff is at the top of the heap regarding dog breeds because of its imposing stature and robust build. The coat of the Bull Mastiff dog breed is thick and short. Some are gray, but most are red fawn brindle or red brindle. A little white patch could appear on their chests. Long and straight or curled, their tails are a distinguishing feature of these animals. Bull Mastiffs are a hybrid breed created when a Bulldog and a Mastiff are bred together. Compared to his close relative, the Mastiff, the Bull Mastiff is on the smaller side. A male Bull Mastiff stands 25 to 27 inches tall and weighs 110 to 130 pounds. Females are 24 to 26 inches tall and weigh 100 to 120 pounds. The large, square head of the Bull Mastiff is the second thing that people notice about the breed after its massive stature. Their ears are floppy and held in a V-shape against their cheeks. Squished and black with wide nostrils, their noses are a distinctive feature temperament. A Bull Mastiff is a kind, joyful, and loyal friend. The Bull Mastiff is neither a violent breed nor is it notorious. The Bull Mastiff dog is a hybrid of the calm, old English Mastiff and the bold Bulldog. The best qualities of both breeds create an endearing watchdog. They're strong, independent guardians of their territory who distrust unfamiliar people as is typical of working dog breeds. When threatened, they act as a natural protector of the family and house. Despite its protective nature, this giant softy doesn't make much noise when they bark. If they weren't resting on your leg or attempting to tuck themselves into your lap, you wouldn't even notice they were there. A well-bred bull mastiff should be bold and sure of itself, yet nevertheless submissive to its human masters. Insightful and trustworthy, they can think for themselves, yet ultimately value others' approval. Bull mastiffs are best suited for households with training-obsessed pet owners socialization. Bull Mastiffs, like other dogs, benefit from early socialization or exposure to a wide variety of people, places, things, and activities. Your Bull Mastiff puppy will develop into a well-rounded dog if you take the time to socialize it. Having people over regularly, bringing them to dog-friendly businesses and popular parks, and taking them on leisurely strolls around the neighborhood are all great ways to improve your dog's social abilities. Puppy Kindergarten is another perfect place to start with your new pet. Bull Bull Mastiffs like spending time with their owners, so to ensure they feel included in the activity, put their box or bed in the room where you spend the most time. They like houses with bigger yards and plenty of space to wander. However, as long as they have enough room to go about without running into anything or anybody and go for regular walks outdoors, they may be happy in a city apartment. Bull Mastiffs are kind to and protective of children. However, because of their size, they have the potential to trip or tread on a young child 
child. Always monitor any interactions between small children and dogs to avoid ear biting or tail tugging on either party's part and educate kids on how to approach and touch pets. Teach your kids to never approach a dog resting or eating or attempt to steal its food. No dog should ever be left alone with a child, regardless of how friendly. They thrive in environments with canines of the opposite sex, mainly if they've grown up with them. As long as they've been taught and socialized early, these dogs get along well with other pets. Grooming the Bull Mastiff's low maintenance requires little time or effort on your part. It's vital to note that their short, close-fitting coat often sheds throughout the year. Although Bull Mastiffs don't lose as much hair as Border Collies, they do it more often due to their larger frames. Regular brushing helps maintain a healthy, lustrous coat and reduces the amount of shedding. In the spring and autumn, when the weather is changing, they will shed more regularly. Therefore, you'll need to increase the frequency of brushing to several times a week. If possible, it should be done daily. Maintain their coat in pristine condition and reduce the effects of shedding by using a bristle brush, grooming glove, or rubber curry brush. Unless your bull mastiff becomes particularly filthy, giving him a bath monthly or even every two to three months may be adequate. Your dog's skin and hair benefit from natural oils and frequent bathing may remove them. You may use waterless shampoo or grooming wipes to clean specific areas of his face if you just need a quick refresh. Use a cotton swab or a washcloth wet with warm water to clean the area around his eyes. While at it, wipe your dog's ears while brushing him. Always use cotton balls or ear wipes since they're more gentle and more effective at removing debris and mites from the ear canal and preventing infection. Another essential thing you can do for your dog is to get into the habit of cleaning its teeth twice a day. They should begin brushing their teeth a few times a week and work their way up to doing it daily. Ideally, you should start cleaning your pet's teeth while they're young and have your vet do a thorough cleaning once a year. Once or twice a month, trim his nails. They're too lengthy if you can hear them clicking on the floor. Short, adequately trimmed nails keep the feet looking beautiful. If the nails grow too long, the toes might stretch out, lessening the support supplied by the foot and increasing the likelihood of stickers and tiny stones being lodged in the foot. Handle their paws regularly, as dogs are sensitive about their feet and inspect their lips and ears. Grooming gives you a fantastic time to connect with your dog while checking on its general health. Make it a happy experience full of praise and prizes. You'll set the stage for smooth veterinarian tests and other handling when they're an adult. Exercise Bull Mastiffs love their regular workouts. Even though they don't need much physical activity, you'll need to devote your spare time to an exercise routine if you want your Bull Mastiff puppy to be well behaved. About 30 to 45 minutes is enough. Puppies shouldn't be overworked, particularly while their development is accelerating. The breed likes brisk walks and outdoor play, but safe fencing is required for outside spaces. Fencing is essential to keep the dog securely confined and prevent outside Outsiders and other animals from invading the bull mastiff's area. Bull mastiffs are excellent strolling companions, but are not the best breed for those seeking a canine jogging partner. Additionally, these dogs are susceptible to heat, so if it's really hot outdoors, schedule your outside activities for when it's cooler. Training like other large breeds, bull mastiffs need experienced pet owners who are prepared to invest their time in socialization and training. The breed has a tendency to have a strong will. Therefore, early on training will benefit both dogs and owners. Rules and routines should be established early on, and dogs should follow them as they mature. Teach your bull mastiff the command place to prevent them from charging visitors that enter your house. You don't want an untrained bull mastiff charging at guests and bringing them to the ground. Training your dog when he's a puppy will help him grow into a well-behaved family member. You may engage a trainer who employs positive reinforcement for individualized instruction. These positive techniques motivate and interest the dog by using special treats, toys, and praise. To guarantee that pups are introduced to other dogs and that parents have access to training support and information, many breeders will urge new owners to register in neighborhood puppy courses. Diet and Nutrition 
A nutritious, well-balanced diet will benefit your bull mastiff and guarantee gradual and consistent development. Always remember, dogs, like humans, do not need the same quantity of food. The amount of food your adult dog consumes is determined by size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Instead of putting food out all the time, keep your bull mastiff in excellent form by measuring its food and feeding them twice a day. Exercise is not advised just before or right after eating due to the possibility of bloat. Bull mastiffs should be maintained slim, particularly pups, since their systems may become taxed by their fast growth. So, to maintain your dog's ideal weight, strike a balance between meals and treats. Always heed the advice of your veterinarian. They're in the greatest position to provide mealtimes that satisfy your dog's dietary demands. Health Bull Mastiffs are typically in good health, although, like other breeds, they are prone to specific health issues. Responsible Bull Mastiff breeders check their breeding stock for cardiac abnormalities, hip and elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and eye problems. Bull Mastiff's owners should know the signs of bloat and what to do if it happens. It's vital to be aware of these illnesses if you're thinking about getting a Bull Mastiff, even if not all of them will affect your dog. This working breed must be mentally and physically sound to perform the duties of a secure security dog. Ever noticed any of these illnesses with your bull mastiff? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.